I have two updates for you viewers. First update is from Valdia, an important town in Amhara state. Tigray Defense Forces were close to taking control of this town yesterday. But things changed after that. What's the latest on Valdia? What happened last night? What is happening there now? Where are TDF positioned? Uh, and what is the planning of uh, Fauna Militias and Ethiopian National Defense Forces to save this town? Secondly, viewers, OLA, Oromo Liberation Army has made some significant gains in southern Oromia. A key town and a military camp uh, have been captured by Oromo Liberation Army in southern Oromia. We'll talk about that. Firstly, viewers, Valdia, who is in control of this town. A little background for new viewers. Tigray Defense Forces launched an offensive to take back a Raya zone. They uh, took control of uh, Koram, then they advanced towards Alamata. After that, they uh, moved into Amhara region viewers. Uh, uh, they captured Kobo, which is part of proper Amhara region. After taking control of Kobo, they advanced south. They took control of uh, Kobo Robit. And then they got very close uh, to this town, Valdia. We saw heavy fighting just a few kilometers away from Valdia in Gobi, Gobi just 5 kilometers away from uh, this town viewers. Ethiopian National Defense Forces, they decided to retreat after suffering losses near Gobi. But angry locals, angry Fauna Militia members inside Vuldia city stopped retreating Ethiopian National Defense Forces from leaving this town. In adjacent towns as well, angry youth took to the streets and they stopped Ethiopian National Defense Forces from retreating uh, from this front view. Now, the latest. Last night, nothing happened, viewers. Last night was very peaceful. Have a look at this picture. In this picture, you can see a mayor of the city, Valdia. Mayor of Valdia city was patrolling the streets of uh, uh, Valdia last night. Uh, Fauna militia members were also patrolling along with uh, the mayor of the city. These are pictures from today, today morning viewers. No fighting inside Valdia. Uh, local militia Fano militia members, they are assembling in large numbers, especially in a stadium called Sheikh Alamudi Stadium. And people who had fled the city towards Desi, they are returning as well. Tigray Defense Forces are not inside this town. They are a few kilometers away from this town uh, in northern direction. They have made announcements for locals to allow Ethiopian National Defense Forces to leave. But so far, uh, ENDF troops have not been permitted by local youth to leave this town. Now, what will TDF do, viewers? A test of their military strategy. TDF can easily start artillery strikes. Uh, Valdia is well within the range of artillery batteries of Tigray Defense Forces. They are just a few kilometers away. But artillery strikes will definitely lead to civilian casualties. Uh, on the other hand, we are seeing that uh, militia members inside the city, they want to fight. They are not withdrawing. The civilians are in danger in Valdia city viewers. Ethiopian National Defense Forces decided to withdraw because they wanted to avoid urban warfare. But locals are very charged. They do not want ENDF to leave this town. So coming hours are very critical. Let's see uh, how 
Tigray Defense Forces tackle this, this very dangerous situation. Second update is from Oromia viewers, OLA. Oromo Liberation Army has captured a key town in southern Oromia viewers. Name of this town is Bole Hora. It is in western Guji zone. Secondly, a military camp Melka Goba has also been taken by Roman Liberation Army in this area. OLA's Southern Front is led by Jal Gulicha, one of the experienced OLA commanders. This is the first major advance by Roman Liberation Army uh, on Southern Front after we saw Romia state sending its regional forces uh, to fight in Amhara region against Tigray defense forces. We are not hearing much from Western Front where there is reportedly presence of Jal Maro, head of Romo Liberation Army. Uh, it seems was that after uh, uh, Romia regional government deployed its forces to fight in a far region, in Amhara region, after that, we are seeing that Roman Liberation Army has stepped up its attacks and in coming days, we could see intensified attacks by Roman Liberation Army uh, in western and southern Oromia. Uh, Roman Liberation Army can make the most of this opportunity if it wants to take control of new areas because now Regional forces are preoccupied uh, in far in, in Amhara region. That is why Roman Liberation Army is heading towards key places. But they are far away from Fenfene, from Addis Ababa. People start speculating when will OLA reach Addis Ababa? Can OLA reach Addis Ababa? No. Roman Liberation Army is far away from Addis Ababa, capital city of Ethiopia. Now watch the video from Bole Hora town where OLA fighters can be seen uh, interacting with locals after capturing this town. I think for you. 